we have Slava Kim, and Slava is going to show us Meteor auto completion for Sublime Text. All right, hi everyone. Um, hi again. And um, a year ago, or more than a year ago, I showed one of my side projects, which was called Meteor for TurnJS. Um, TurnJS is an auto completion engine that is open source, and a year ago, I integrated it with a whole bunch of different text editors. I integrated it with Veeam, Emacs, Sublime Text, and then later people adopted it for, um, I think, Brackets and Eclipse. But it's been a long time ago, and since then, I didn't really work on this project much, but I accumulated 200 stars, or more than 200 stars, and I asked people on Twitter, what do you want to see um, in the next version if I try to work on it. So people asked me for two things, uh, make the Sublime Text integration better, and the second thing was make Atom integration better. So Atom was kind of hard, so I decided to go with Sublime Text. So I built a new package specifically for Sublime Text, and um, it's here on GitHub. Um, I work on it kind of actively almost every weekend, and it's on package control. And so far, I have more than 500 people who tried it out, and generally people like it. So what's different with this package compared to my previous package? So first of all, it's much easier to install. You can just press Command Shift P and install package, and then you can just type Meteor and find my package is the second one, Meteor Auto Completion, and just press Enter. And once it's done downloading, it's basically ready to go. You don't need to configure anything. You don't need to um, create any extra files. It just works, so, which is much better than it used to be before you had to create a lot of things and understand how it works. So now I'm inside Telescope, and I hope you all know what Telescope is. It's a big, kind of big open source app in Meteor. And I can show you the auto completion features that I implemented in this version. So as you can see, I have post meta. And let's see, it understands that it's an array. Um, and similarly, like I can autocomplete any meter APIs. So this is good. But you probably already have seen it before. Um, a new feature that I implemented was um, jump to definition, which works much better in Sublime now. You can just open um, the palette and say jump to definition, and it will just show you where it is. And you can see here's the file where we define this array. So the good thing is it works pretty well for all packages and apps that I tested on so far. So for example, here's another file in a different part of the code base, and I can run the same jump to definition again, and it jumps to that collection. Similarly, you can find the documentation, which I also implemented. So I can just um, ask for documentation, oh, or more than the type, I guess, and well, it didn't find anything here, but if I click on the comments, and they ask for documentation, well, it knows it's a function. Okay, it's not very useful for this particular example, but overall, it's pretty good. Um, another thing that I implemented was jump to definition of the template. So if I start typing template dot, you will see a lot of different templates the telescope has. So let's take one of them, let's take categories. And if I, if I put my cursor on it and jump to definition, it will open the template file because it kind of understands where it comes from and what is the exact file that needs to be open. So that's pretty cool. Um, especially uh, what I want to highlight here is the new installation process. It's very easy. Um, it downloads all the node and NPM modules and everything you need, even if you don't have it globally installed. And I think it was a huge pain before. And um, yeah, so what I had to do, I had to fork the entire project of TurnJS and just do things the way I like them to do, and that's the result. So please try it out, um, install it from package control, it's just one command, and let me know what you think about it. Thanks. Thank you. And uh, I guess I can get any questions, that's 30 seconds. Oh, you, have, you have more than 30 okay. seconds for questions if you have them. Please, David. Yeah. Coffee script support, no. <laughs> well, first of all, CoffeeScript is not supported by TurnJS. And TurnJS is a project by a person who lives in Europe, 
works on his day job and then comes home and works on a lot of different cool projects like Acorn, uh, Code Mirror, and TurnJS, including. So this person doesn't really have a lot of time, and every time you ask him to implement new feature, he asks to create a crowdfunding campaign to fund his efforts. And I think he's doing the right thing because I don't think CoffeeScript support is very easy to implement. So if you want to, you can pay me and I can build it for you, <laughs> given that you, you gather enough money, but I think that's just a question of development time. And there's another big project that they're working on, or at least starting to think of working on, it's ECMAScript 6 support, which I think is far more interesting for a lot of people nowadays. Um, so yeah, no CoffeeScript. No. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Uh, what about WebStorm? What about WebStorm? Well, WebStorm, I love WebStorm. Um, fellow Russian comrades build it. <laughs> I really like it. Um, WebStorm works pretty well. And uh, I actually have an email set with one of the team leads from, Web, uh, from JetBrains. Um, so the new WebStorm version actually has even better integration with Meteor, which, which I am very excited about. But I'm not a big fan of IDEs. I, I always use Vim. So um, for people who, like me, I try to develop these plugins to help people who don't like Java-based software, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, Rahul, you had a question? No. no OK, not anymore. No. <laughs> no, it was uh, other questions for Slava? Yeah. Thank right. you. Thank you.